What's up y'all, I'm Mariah Elise. You're watching In The Glory and I'm inviting you in to do what we do. And let's talk a little bit about art. Whether it's about art exhibitions, auctions, or something I think you really need to know. Come on in and let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna make a margarita while I tell you guys a little bit about this article I read the other day. I read an article a few days ago that is crucial to share. It's about Sotheby's introducing programming called Artist Choice, which Artnet mentions as a new initiative for Sotheby's that will offer artists and their galleries the chance to benefit directly from the ballooning secondary market. In other words, Sotheby's has created a platform that allows artists and galleries to come into auction and take advantage of the winnings the auction can produce. To make that a little bit more clear, this means that artists and galleries can now profit from auction sales on the primary market, but only within this specific programming. Now, obviously, this is Sotheby's dipping their finger into the primary market because of the transfer of tradition that we have all watched lately. Contemporary artists going to auction with their art, hammering at unimaginable numbers, and artists don't see a dime. So Sotheby's is extending their hand to pull a few galleries and artists into a space that didn't give them their just due. A space that really frightens and upsets a lot of living artists because someone flipped their work at some point. Again, and they might not have enough control on their primary market to keep everything stable when their work goes up in value the way that it does sometimes in auction. Now, Art News quotes Sotheby saying, the question that they wanted to address more and most was how to create a win-win situation for all of the parties with total transparency. They believe they have something of a magic formula, a channel that is not only custom fit for galleries, but enticing for collectors seeking to access some of the most ambitious art being created today. We have to be realistic here. This will still be very much so hand-selected, very much so curated, and I believe for the artists involved, it's gonna have a dramatic positive effect on their career. Now here's a kicker, but I think it's a good one. I think it's one of the best parts of what this program has to offer. In order for the artists in the gallery to participate in this programming, the artists in the gallery have to pledge a donation to a charity or institution or cause that they believe in. Now, this is what Sotheby says. For Artist Choice Lots, a total number of 15% of the hammer price will be donated to an institution, charity, or cause of the artist's choice. Upon sale of the lot, the artist will direct a portion of the hammer price in the amount of 7.5% to be donated to their select beneficiary. Now, some of these is gonna match the donation out of the buyer's premium. The full value of the donation, which is 15% of the hammer price, will be made directly to the selected beneficiary by the artist. Now, this is gonna allow artists to latch on to institutions and charities that they believe in and the ones that they want to further their careers with or further their relationships with. It's going to allow them to build a web of community around them. Now I was a little bit confused scrolling through Sotheby's website looking for a section titled Artist Choice. So I clicked around a little bit and realized that this first Artist Choice won't launch under the title but will launch under Sotheby's Curated Auction in New York on September 30th. That auction alone hosts 300 lots and it only features seven artists from the Artist Choice programming. Those artists are Kevin Beasley of Casey Kaplan Gallery, Kennedy Yonko, one of my absolute favorite artists, of Jeffrey Deitch and Von Spann and Alexandra Lenore. Now you know my thoughts wouldn't be complete without mentioning how this could actually affect collectors. But before we dive into that, check this out. Now y'all know I love a little gift giving, especially one that I swear by. Now I'm managing like 3,000 projects at once between all of the artists in Elise Art Group and I need all of their artwork to digitally be in one place with every piece of information I need at my fingertips. And I use Artwork Archive and I think that you really should consider using it too. I've left a little link in my description giving you guys 20% off so you can be organized just like I am. Now back to what we were talking about. How do I think this program is gonna affect collectors? I don't think it will have a huge effect at first, but over time as this project grows, I think it's gonna create an environment where even more demand is placed on specific artists faster and they'll outpace certain collectors quicker than usual. That's why as a collector, you wanna pay really close attention from the artists that you love and support them from the beginning of their career. Because if they take a certain path, depending on your pockets, now I don't know your pockets, but, they could quickly begin to get out of your art budget and out of your range. 
Now, everything that I say, as you know, is speculative. They're my thoughts. So we'll see over time how this program works and the effect that it's gonna have. As of now, it is showing, as of now, it isn't showing to be a huge, huge initiative, but I honestly think it might become one because he has a lot of attention to grow. Make sure to read about it yourself on Sotheby's.com, as well as a few articles that are out there, including on Artnet. I really wanna thank you guys for coming into my home, having a cocktail, and talking a little bit of art with me. You know what to do. If you like this, thumbs me up, vibe with me and subscribe with me. And remember to always count on you. Artists create from the core and collectors collect from the core. I really wanna thank you guys for coming out into my home, having a cocktail, and talking a little bit of art with me. You know what to do. If you like this, thumbs me up, vibe with me, and subscribe with me. And remember to always count on you. Artists collect from the core. Collectors collect from the core. <laughs> Damn, that one was perky. I gotta turn the time. I gotta turn the time off. All right guys, we're gonna make a margarita while I tell you guys a little bit about, I didn't prepare for this part, so. All right. It's actually kind of good. You get it? All right, guys, so we're gonna mark. All right, so we're gonna make a. All right, I'm done. Huh? Huh?